Hello, welcome to A Grey Barn Rising, the video blog of the Wabash Watershed. It's my greatest honor in this installment to read the poems and talk about the poetry of my very favorite poet of all time, Cesar Vallejo. He's a Peruvian poet who wrote in Spanish, and he was born in 1892 and he left the body in 1938. Where to begin with Cesar Vallejo? I don't think, well I know, there is no single poet whom I've read who has had this kind of impact on me in my life. I've studied the work of Vallejo for many decades. He continuously marvels me with his work. It's magical, it's imaginative, it's incredible emotional depth. I don't know which poems to select for you, or I didn't know. I have selected a few because I love all of his work. But I've selected a few to give you a taste of the, the great uh, range and the great majesty of Cesar Vallejo. I'm going to be reading today from Vallejo's book, The Complete Posthumous Poetry. This particular translation from the Spanish is by Clayton Eshelman and Jose Rubia Barcia. Um, it is an earlier translation of work that Clayton Eshelman has, has revised and changed as well. But this is the book that has meant the most to me over the years, and so I'd like to share a few poems from this particular book. I'd like to start with a poem by Vallejo titled, The Hungry Man's Wheel. From between my own teeth I come out smoking, shouting, pushing, pulling down my pants. My stomach empties, my jejunum empties. Misery pulls me out between my own teeth, caught in my shirt cuff by a little stick. A stone to sit down on will now be denied to me. Not even that stone on which the woman trips who has given birth, the mother of the lamb, the cause, the root, that one will now be denied to me? At least that other one, that crouching has passed through my soul, at least the calcarid or the evil one, humble ocean, or the one no longer even worth throwing at man, that one, give it to me now. At least the one they could have found lying across and alone in an insult. That one. Give it to me now. At least the twisted and crowned on which echoes only once the walk of moral rectitude. Or at least that other one that flung in dignified curve will drop by itself acting as a true core. That one. Give it to me now. A piece of bread that too denied to me? Now I am resigned to be what I always have to be. But give me a stone to sit down on. But give me, please, a piece of bread to sit down on. But give me, in Spanish, something in short to drink, to eat, to live by, to rest on then I will go away. I find a strange form, my shirt very torn and filthy, and now I have nothing. This is hideous. The next poem of Vallejos I'd like to share with you, after the hungry man's wheel, is another favorite of mine, it has no title, it, but it's known by its first line, which is, Let the Millionaire Go Naked. In this poem especially, you'll see Vallejo's incredible surrealist range and ability to leap imaginatively with wild leaps of association. The poem has great vitality and energy because of that. Let the Millionaire Go Naked. Let the millionaire go naked, 
stark naked. Disgrace for whoever builds his deathbed with treasures. A world for whoever greets. An armchair for whoever sows in the sky. Tears for whoever finishes what he does, keeping the beginnings. Let the spur wearer walk. Let the wall crumble on which another wall is not growing. Let the miserable man have all his misery. Bread for whoever laughs. Let the triumphs lose and the doctors die. Let milk be in our blood. Let a candle be added to the sun, 800 to 20. Let eternity pass under the bridges, scorned for whoever puts on clothes. Let our feet be crowned with hands, be fit in their size. Let my person sit next to me, to cry having fit in that womb. Grace for whoever sees air in the air. Many years of nail for the hammer stroke. Let the naked man be stripped naked. Let the cape put on pants. Let the copper gleam at the expense of its plates. Majesty for whoever falls from the clay to the universe. Let the mouths weep. Let the glances groan. Let us stop the steel from enduring. Thread for the portable horizons. Twelve cities for the stone path. A sphere for whoever plays with his shadow. A day made of an hour for married people. A mother at the plow in praise of the soil. Let the liquids be sealed with two seals. Let the mouthful call the roll. Let the descendants be. Let the quail be. Let the poplar and the tree have their race. Let the sea Contrary to the circle, defeat his son and the crying gray hair. Leave the asps alone, gentle sirs. Furrow your flame with the seven logs. Live. Let the height be raised. Let the deepness descend deeper. Let the wave drive its impulse walking. Let the vault's truce be a success. Let us die. Wash your skeleton every day. Pay no attention to me. Let a bird grasp the despot and his soul. An awful stain for whoever walks around alone. Sparrows for the astronomer. For the sparrow, an aviator. Give off rain, give off sun, keep an eye on Jupiter, on the thief of your gold idols, copy your handwriting in three notebooks, learn from the couples when they speak and from the lonely when they are silent. Give food to the sweethearts, give drink to the devil from your hands, fight for justice with your nape. Make yourselves equal. Let the oak be fulfilled. Let the leopard be fulfilled between two oaks. Let us be. Let us be here. Let us feel how the water sails in the oceans. Take nourishment. Let the error be conceived since I am crying, accept it, while goats and their young climb along the cliff. Make God break the habit of being a man. Grow up. I am called. I am going back. You hear the velocity of that poem and its uh, acceleration of images through the, um, the associative leaps that Vallejo has. Finally, in this installment, I'd like to read for you my very favorite Cesar Vallejo poem. Um, 
Well, and since he's my favorite poet, I guess it's no leap to say this is my very favorite poem. And so many poems I know, but this, this poem has meant so much to me. It's a poem of great humanity and love for the public, for the entire universe, and yet ultimately it becomes a poem of self-acceptance and a poem of self-forgiveness. And I love that verticality of Vallejo's and being able to, to move outward into culture and yet inward into the individual. This poem, like the other, Let the Millionaire Go Naked, does not have a title, but it's known by its first line. For several days I have felt an exuberant political need to love. For several days I have felt an exuberant political need to love, to kiss affection on its two cheeks. And I have felt from afar a demonstrative desire, another desire to love, willingly or by force. Whoever hates me, whoever rips up his paper, a little boy, the woman who cries for the man who was crying, the king of wine, the slave of water. Whoever hid in his wrath, whoever sweats, whoever passes, whoever shakes his person in my soul. And I want, therefore, to adjust the braid of whoever talks to me, the hair of the soldier, the light of the great one, the greatness of the little one. I want to iron directly, a handkerchief for whoever is unable to cry. And when I am sad or happiness hurts me, to mend the children and the geniuses. I want to help the good one become a little bit bad. And I badly need to be seated on the right hand of the left-handed and to respond to the mute, trying to be useful to him as I can. And also I want very much to wash the lame man's foot and to help the nearby one-eyed man sleep. Ah, love, this one my own, this one the world's. Interhuman and parochial, maturely aged. It comes perfectly timed from the foundation, from the public groin. And coming from afar makes me want to kiss the singer's muffler. And whoever suffers to kiss him on his frying pan, the deaf man on his cranial murmur, undaunted. Whoever gives me what I forgot in my breast, on his Dante, on his chaplain, on his shoulders. I want, finally, when I am at the celebrated edge of violence or my heart full of chest, I would like to help whoever smiles laugh, to put a little bird right on the evil man's nape, to take care of the sick, annoying them, to buy from the vendor, to help the killer kill a terrible thing. And I would like to be kind to myself in everything. Quite a poem. For several days I have felt an exuberant political need to love. That's just a taste of the great Peruvian poet Cesar Vallejo. I hope you will read Vallejo's work. Uh, I, he is so rich and deep. His emotional landscape is um, incredible. And his images are uh, astounding and unusual, as, you, as uh, I believe you just heard.